All right, we're here live with Anna Gulia. Can you uh, just talk a little bit about what the process has been like making this new album and what the response has been to the recent release? The process of making this album has been a lengthy one, to yeah. say the least. It's been about four years. Um, it's taken me four years to get this together. Um, I'm really big on first impressions, so I really wanted to make sure that my first release was 100% me and right. I was 100% happy with it. Um, and I'm perfectionist, so that's why it took so long. But it's out and I'm really, really happy with the outcome and the response has been amazing. Yeah. It's crazy, like it, it debuted, I think, at number 35 wow. on the iTunes pop chart and then it went up to 25, 26. Like it's been, it's exceeded any sort of expectation that I had. I had no idea what I was in for and yeah. it's been a really pleasant surprise. Has music been a part of your life before kind of making this transition now? Yeah, music has always been such a huge part of my life. I was always surrounded by music and then I started in, uh, in theater and did all that fun stuff and um, started taking singing lessons when I was about 11 and then piano and guitar and all that mm -hmm. fun stuff and then um, as soon as I got on the show I hit that age where you know things happened yeah. and uh, and I kind of needed an outlet and, and music became that outlet for me so that's when the transition started happening. What songs have you picked to play today? I picked Replay and right. People. And what Replay, which I have a personal favorite of mine, what, oh, like what inspired you to get those lyrics together and make that song? So that one was uh, about, you know, wanting a second chance mm -hmm. and wanting to kind of have a do-over with someone and, um, and just, just the whole mind space that I was in. And it was like a mix of regret and a mix of I wish. Right. Um, and yeah, and that, that's how Replay was born. I wish I could turn back time. I knew we'd be right back here. That's the punchline. I did what I had to do. Now I face regrets because I can't get over you. Every day, dreaming away. Reliving every single mistake Trying to make up for lost time But all I find is myself in the waiting line You say it's too late Wish the tables turned back my way I say, you say I'm over all the games that we play Bet you never knew I'd come around Not up here to hear no turn down You say it's too late I'm hoping you can hit that replay. I should have got this right instead. I'm here holding on to this past life. I should have did more with you. Now I'm guilty trying to get you half for a half price. Every night awake with the cries Sleepless, I need you here holding me tight I don't know how to make this right I might have to sit this out till the next line You say it's too late Wish the tables turned back my way I say, you say I'm over all the games that we play Bet you never knew I'd come around Not up in here to hear no turn down you say it's too late. I'm hoping you can hit that replay. Replay. Boy, you know it's never late. Said you gotta hit replay. Don't let these moments go to waste. You're making all of my mistakes. Say that you're a gentleman. I'm not trying to be your friend. I don't want no settlement, but right here we can settle this. You say it's too late Wish the tables turned back my way I say you'll stay I'm over all the games that we play Bet you never knew I'd come around Not up in here to hear no turn down You say it's too late Hoping you can hit that replay Replay
name change? What, why have you decided to keep your, your true name for the album? I just really wanted to be 100% authentic, mm. same way I was when I, when I actually wrote the music, and that meant going by my legal name, my birth name of right. Moazana. Otherwise, it, it, like it wasn't connecting the same way for me. Yeah. Do you think in the future there might be a Degrassi alumni collaboration that we can look forward to? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to yeah. it. No, absolutely not. That would be awesome. On there? Okay. That would be fun. And picking the title Epilogue, what kind of made you choose that as the name for the album? So, um, I wrote this during a period of my life where so much happened. And because it was over the course of four years, by the end of the, the songwriting process of the album, I kind of felt uh, almost removed from everything that happened and I was looking back and kind of reflecting while while uh, listening to these songs so I that's that's why I called it epilogue and same thing like with the epilogue of a book at the end of the book that's kind of how I felt once I finished mm -hmm. this album so it seemed really suiting to that time in my life and it's done and onwards and upwards gotcha cool so I was reading as well that you play the piano, you play the clarinet, and you speak fluent Albanian. I do. Is there any <laughs> of that that we can see in the album at all? Did the Albanian? Your own instruments in the album? Uh, or do you? No, I would never consider myself proficient enough to, to do that. There's right. so many amazing musicians yeah. in Toronto. I just, I mean, I have one of them here today. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I wouldn't trust myself to, to do that. Right. Um, there's, uh, there's no Albanian in the album, <laughs> but maybe the next one. Okay. Yeah. So speaking about collaborations and other instruments uh, in the album, mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about the people that you've worked with to kind of do the songwriting and yeah. work on the lyrics and everything with? Yeah, so I worked with uh, Kuya Productions, and they were an absolute pleasure to work with. Mm -hmm. Same thing with uh, Brett Ryan Kruger and Justin Tyler Levine and... Uh, a few of the members from Down with Webster right. were a part of it. Boy Wanda was a part of it. So it was it was a pretty great crew. Like I'm really grateful to have worked such like Canadian icons yeah. in the in the production side of things. So in the future, while you, like because you'll be keeping up acting as well, mm -hmm. and you're going to keep up music. Yeah. So how do you feel that the collaboration between the two, like the coordinating both of those goals, is going to push you forward and how do you feel like you're going to be able to juggle both of those? I mean, <laughs> it's definitely difficult. It's yeah. already proven to be very difficult, but I'm really lucky that I have an amazing team around me. And then also, in order to be able to write music, I need to experience life and have a break every once in a while. Yeah. And, and I can do that through my acting and, and experiencing things through characters that I portray. Um, so I feel like it, it's a it's a good balance, and it keeps me constantly moving forward. Right. And in terms of specifically music, what's kind of like your end game? What's the when you feel like you've reached that music goal? Where would you be? Oh, where would I be? It w I would be touring the world, mm -hmm. doing a stadium tour. Yeah, that's like end goal. Yeah, but um, I mean, if I got to do a collaboration with Sam Smith. Right. That would be also like one if of you the could end pick goals. Kind of the lineup of who y you're the headliner. Okay. But you can pick the two openers for you at this show. Two openers. No matter who it is, no matter how big they are, Kay. who would it be? Ooh. Uh, I mean, uh, I would say, say, like, it would never happen, though. No. <laughs> no. No. I would love to open for him yeah. somebody else that i would love to open for because <laughs> yeah. i can't i can't say the reverse um ah, mm, there's so many people i feel like maybe drake maybe drake yeah, yeah. Okay, i'm expecting expecting <laughs> an albanian albanian verse with a little drake feature in there as well okay maybe on the next album that's a long order but okay drake will come here too it's going to be a important <laughs> thing I'll be your soldier, I'll be your friend, I'll be your ally from here until the end. I'll be your champion for whatever it's worth. 
defend you on this battlefield, shield you from the hurt. We're just people, yet a little bit scared sometimes. Only human, yet a little impaired sometimes. When it all starts to fall, remember, we're just people, we're gonna be we all take our chances, we live and we learn. We dive into shallow waters, but we still get burned. At war with ourselves, trying to come out alive. We need to fall down to stand up and rise. We're just people. Get a little bit scared sometimes Only human Get a little impaired sometimes When it all starts to fall Remember We're just people We're gonna be alright We're gonna be alright Thanks everyone for watching and thanks so much for coming down. Thank you.